Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Just one month back the classes has been started for you people and just yesterday VTU has been released a model question paper for the 2022 scheme for the first semester B degree examination that is called semester end examination. So in this session I am going to discuss a model question paper 1 and 2 according to stream wise. I have chosen first a computer science stream with subject. You should know the a uh, way of answering the question paper that's why they have given the note here you should answer any five full question choosing at least one question from each module since they are going to provide from each module two questions will be provided you should answer one full question from that module so that module carries 20 marks that module carries 20 marks each module will be carried with 20 marks 20 into 5 modules will be of 100 marks the question paper will carries with 100 marks. So, therefore, you are going to answer for 100 marks. Now, let us move on to module 1. Question 1a, usual notation prove that uh, tan phi is equal to r into d theta by dr. Then question number b given as find the angle between r equal to a log theta and r equal to a by log theta. Question number c, 1c has given show that the radius of curvature at any point theta on the cycloid x equal to a times of theta plus sin theta y equal to a times of 1 minus cos theta is 4a, the row will be equal to 4a times of cos theta by d. Similarly, the question number 2a as given with uh, 2a, b, c, three questions have, they have provided, show that the curves r equal to a into 1 plus sin theta and r equal to a into 1 minus sin theta cuts each orthogonally. So, find the pedal equation for the curve 2a by r equal to 1 plus cos theta the problem on again they have given a problem on radius of curvature. So, this is the questions they have given in module 1. So, it is very easy to solve. You can solve easily and score 20 out of 20 from this module. So, moving on to module 2. From module 2, they have provided question number 3a as by McLaren series. You are required to expand log of secant x by McLaren series up to the term containing x power 4. So, the next problem is of uh, partial differentiation. So, the given u is satisfies uh, that p times of del u by del x plus a times of uh, del u by del y is equal to 2 times of a b u by using the concept of composite function. So, finally, the maximum, maxima or minimum problem, uh, find the extreme values of the function f of x comma y is equal to x cube plus 3 x y square minus 3 y square minus 3 x square plus 4. So, with the choice, Question number 4 is given as evaluate apply LH rule, L'Hopital rule, go with the L'Hopital rule. Two problems they have provided. So, it is one problem is 1 power infinity and another problem is also 1 power infinity they have provided. So, solve this problem by L'Hopital rule. Moving on to question number 4b, they have given a partial differentiation problem. So, by chain rule you should solve this problem. So, you can solve easily. So, finally question number 4c is given by Jacobian. Finally, question number C has been given by Jacobian. Again, this is also very easy to solve. You can solve easily and score 20 out of 20. Moving on to module 3, in that of a differential equation, the problem they have given on differential equation, solve dy by dx plus y by x is equal to x square y, y power 6. So, question number 5b is given on orthogonal trajectory. You are required to find the orthogonal trajectory for the given problem. 5c has given on uh, solvable for x, y, p. You can go with uh, solvable for x, y, p problem. So, moving on to question number uh, 6a. Again, uh, it is on uh, ordinary differential equation. Using uh, ordinary differential equation, you can solve this problem. Next, uh, it is application problem, LR and RC circuit problem. So, it is a standard problem they have given. You can solve this problem by using uh, the standard method called uh, solving by ordinary differential equation. Again, you require to solve by find the general solution for the given problem called px minus y times of p plus uh, py plus x, which is equal to a square y. Sorry, a square p. Moving on to module 4 is of uh, modular arithmetic. They have given question number 7a. Find the least positive values of x such that 71 congruent to x mod 8, 78 plus x congruent to uh, 3 mod 5, 89 congruent to x plus 3. Uh, times of mod 4. So, here find the least positive values of x for the given congruences. 
So next by remainder theorem, they have given one problem uh, on remainder theorem. You can solve by using remainder theorem. So question number seven C, they have given the problem on system of linear congruences. Question number seven C. Moving on to question number eight, the module four will be of seven and eight. Find the last digit of uh, seven power two zero one three. Similarly, you require to find the last digit of seven, uh, thirteen power thirty seven. Find the by using remainder theorem, you require to find uh, the two power thousand is divided by thirteen. So again, find the remainder when uh, four, fourteen factorial is divisible uh, divided by seventy. So this is of uh, modular arithmetic. Moving on to last module that is linear algebra. So first question in that question number nine a find the rank of the given matrix. Find the rank of the given matrix. So question number b is solve the solve the system of equation by using uh, Gauss Jordan method. They are they have provided the system of equation. You require to solve by Gauss Jordan method. Moving on to question number c given the matrix you require to find the eigen value and the eigen corresponding eigen vector for the given matrix. Moving on to question number ten a solve the system of equation by Gauss Seidel method. They have provided the system of equation. You require to solve by cos theta method. So moving on to question number ten b, they have provided uh, the system of equation. You require to find whether that the given system of equation is consistent or inconsistent. Then after coming to know that uh, consistent or inconsistent, you require to find unique solution and you should define that whether it has uh, infinite number of solution or finite number of solution. Moving on to last question that is uh, question number c, solve the system of equation. By Gauss elimination, so so you can see that uh, this is the method of uh, giving the question paper. Ah, uh, you can uh, choose uh, the questions uh, easily and solve in your examination. So let us discuss uh, the model question paper uh, two year of uh, computer science stream model question paper two, which has been effect from twenty twenty two. In the previous question in module one, question number one a was given with uh, given with to prove that uh, with usual notation, ah, uh, tan phi is equal to one over r into d theta by dr. Here they have given a pedal equation to derive. So similarly, there also they have given angle between two curves to find the angle between two curves and to find the angle between uh, to find the radius of curvature. Again, show that the given two curves intersect orthogonally. Solve by using pedal equation radius of curvature. Easily you can uh, choose the question in your uh, textbook or you know, easily you can choose from your notes how to get ready for your examination, final examination. Moving on to module two. Similarly, one question will be set on uh, McLaren series. One question has been set on McLaren series. Then uh, the next question is on uh, partial differentiation. The next question is on partial differentiation. The next question is on maxima and minima. So, in the choice based question, in the choice question, 4A has given with uh, L'Hopital rule. Then they have given uh, the again. Then they have provided uh, partial differentiation problem. Then finally, they have provided Jacobi Jacobian's problem. Moving on to module three. All this given differential equation. Next, uh, they have given to find the orthogonal trajectory of the given curve. So solvable for p x y. So you can choose uh, easily here. One problem will be on uh, solvable by solve by differential equation. And next with uh, find the orthogonal trajectory. Uh, next with solvable for p x y. Either you can choose in this way. So definitely you can answer one question. One. Full question you can answer. So similarly, question number six A they have provided uh, by differential equation. Question number six B is uh, of orthogonal trajectory. Question number six C has been given by Clairaut's equation. Clairaut's equation. Actually, in uh, previous question also, in previous question paper also, question number six C was of Clairaut's equation. Here also they have provided uh, Clairaut's equation. Moving on to module four, modular arithmetic problem. So same thing they have given. You can. Easily choose one problem on uh, congruences, one one problem on remainder theorem, one problem on uh, Chinese remainder theorem, uh, one problem on formats a little theorem, and problems on congruences, linear system of linear congruences. So this is the way you can choose the questions from this module and answer easily. Moving on to module five, one problem is on rank. Rank will be there next. Uh, Cos Jordan will be there. Largest eigen value and eigen vector will be there. Similarly, next uh, set of problems will be on Gauss Seidel method. Gauss Seidel method, consistency, and Gauss elimination. Gauss elimination. This is the pattern of uh, the question paper. You can easily choose the problems to solve in your final examination and get prepared from right now to your final examination. I will be in touch with you, people. I am going to solve this question paper shortly and I am going to upload this uh, scheme. 
and the evaluation of this uh, question paper so i thank you all for watching this video those who are not subscribed to my channel kindly do subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to press like button and to get new notification press bell button thank you all